Looks like we may have found a spot for camp here. Uh, it's not like you couldn't camp just anywhere though. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's just incredible. It's just an absolute wonderland. Got lots of snow here. Don't want to have any unexpected surprises of pitching your tent and then realizing you're right on top of a crevasse. What a spot to spend an evening. This is just one of a kind. Be nice to get down through all this slush. These don't really do much good up here. This is what we use. The bags that the tanks come in. Life doesn't get much better. You suggest tossing all the sauce into the pasta? Put the on the plates first. Oh, man. Absolutely spectacular light. You know, we got out, we got to set up camp and all this stuff, and sometimes you just can't fit everything in in the same day, especially because it's our first day out here. But when you get light like this, it's just like, I don't want to lose the opportunity. So I'll take a few reference shots, like I've been doing, just to get the quality of the light. Definitely going to be doing some painting here tomorrow. the next few hours with Brian scouting the region around here so I can get some different vantage points and then maybe by tonight I really know where I want to set up my easel and paint. As you can see here Corey there's a continuation of a kind of crevasse berg fun feature and it cuts right across about 30 meters in front of us and I want to put a rope on to get across there. We're going to do one as well. It's both locked, buckles, buckles are backed up. Perfect. All right. So you're all double checked. We're good to go. Let's go tag a summit. Sounds good. I can see why you've got that drive to go up these big mountains because uh, we're just going up this little hill here. And man, the view just grows on you. I mean, look around here. That is All right. Good job. pretty Good awesome. Job. Wow. One of my goals in this project in my month out here in Kalani, try to find that one scene, that one experience that conveys what it's like to be here and hopefully find a way of turning that into an eight to 10 foot painting. That would be sort of my ode to Kalani. And it's pretty tough because there's so much spectacular scenery already and it's only been a day and a half <laughs> and I've got 38 days to go. So it's back to camp time, I guess. Back to camp, you're ready to go downhill. Peel it halfway, peel it up the rest of the way, hold them up. So sliding down the hill, you get to see the whole landscape change. It's really allowing me to take in a whole variety of views in one shot. I got myself a nice little blister going. I'm hoping we can solve this somehow with a little creative carving. <laughs> so, so Brian's seen a whole lot of these, and this is my first, so I'll trust his judgment on the best way to treat yeah. this. Put a little bit of this stuff on, if I can open it. It's really sticky. Hmm. And the real stickiness. <laughs> Put this all around here. It adds a little bit of adhesive, but more importantly, it blocks you from sweating was just exactly for this part of the body. So this will do the trick so we can uh, get it in Rome. 
Thank you, Brian. All right, finally, we're getting out there. We got spectacular light, two nights in a row. What I came here for, get a chance to paint a spectacular glacier view of Mount Logan. That would be a good idea. Yeah, before you take those skis off. Well, this painting gear has come a long, long way. It's great about coming out with the mountain guide. So I got to use some real carabiners, not like these little babies I use normally. <laughs> this is one big scene. Corner. Yeah, I wish I had a photographic memory, but I don't. Just a few safety shots. I think the light's gonna get a lot better. I don't normally paint with sunglasses on, but up here, even at this time, it's just too hard on the eyes. But let's give it a shot. I just wanna keep going wider and wider and wider. I'll let him go off the page, though. The sun's gone down, there's just a tiny little glint of light on the peak. It's getting cold, so I gotta get some clothes on. Duke, please. It's the first time I've ever painted on a glacier. And yeah, there's been a little more gear involved, but once you get it all figured out, it just becomes all about soaking up the landscape. And it's really more than I expected. What do you say to your friends who, uh, who aren't into getting outside? They're not my friends. <laughs> <laughs> if you're missing out on experiences like this, you're missing out on life, in my opinion. <laughs>